Hi everybody, uh, Pastor Chris Stubing here. Just want to bring you a little demonstration about how uh, you can uh, get access to these little prepackaged communion cups when you come for drive up communion this Sunday. Sometimes they can be a little tricky. I've noticed myself and others um, kind of getting caught up on a couple of layers in the communion cups. But, but before I show you that, just want to um, I invite you to, to join us for worship on Sunday, 9 a.m. We'll have an abbreviated, somewhat abbreviated worship service, and then we'll start our drive-up communion distribution at 9.45. So I um, invite you to come start lining up at that time, and you come through, you can leave your offering here if you like uh, after our worship time, and there will be three stations. You'll receive the communion cups, and then you'll come forward for um, a blessing. And, uh, and we just really want to encourage everyone to participate. We're doing everything we can to be real safe. We're going to invite people to kind of on the driver's side. You'll, you'll come up, and when you uh, receive um, the communion cups, you can have your mask on. And then um, you can uh, figure out how to open them up, pull the mask down, and... Uh, Go ahead and consume the bread and the juice, receive your blessing and be on your way. And then as well, we have an outdoor worship service this coming Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., Wednesday, August 12th. We'd love to have you join us, but we want to have people sign up in advance. We're asking that you do that by this coming Tuesday at 5 p.m. just so we can prepare and set up stations so we can make the most uh, safe experience for everybody for that. But on Sunday, when you do come, if you have a little trouble uh, getting into these cups, then uh, know that you're not alone because I have as well. The first thing that you want to do, and I'll try to see if I can get you up close, you notice that there's a wafer on top and then there's juice here in this bottom cup. And so the first thing to do is to kind of figure out these two layers. One, there's a sort of a thick layer that's got a thick layer of plastic and then the top is thin and clear. And that top thin and clear layer is what has the wafer underneath. So the first thing you can do is pull back, and it's actually got a note on here of the um, scripture passage. This is my body, um, take and eat. Do this in remembrance of me. And so you pull back that first top layer, and you gotta be careful because I noticed that we had some dropped wafers and we'll just give you a new one. Don't worry if that happens, we'll give you a new cup. Um, but you can maybe put your thumb on that, pull back the clear layer, lift that up, consume the wafer when you hear the words body of Christ given for you. And then you pull back the thick layer, see that clear one's on top, and then you pull back the thicker layer and be careful so you don't spill it. Kind of hold the cup. You, you try that. It's a little tricky, I know. We're learning new skills here in the pandemic. And then you can consume the juice. Again, if uh, you have any problems with the mechanics of this little plastic prepackaged communion cup, uh, we'll give you a new one. That's all grace in our drive up communion uh, process, which we'll be doing twice this month again, uh, two weeks from Sunday. Um, as well on the 23rd. So again, blessings. Welcome to uh, worship this weekend online at 9 o'clock and then drive up communion at 945. Sign up by Tuesday at 5 for our Wednesday, August 12th, 6.30 p.m. outdoor worship. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.